The truth is the new right, the new right must be, must be about offense. And these are the things that make people uncomfortable. Maybe they're making you uncomfortable now. But we are in a very, very dangerous time right now. And the truth is, if you're going to defeat the American communists, it very likely is going to mean doing things that make you uncomfortable. The new right must leave that fence and fight them and get them away from the walls because they're already battering the walls down. We must play offense. The new right plays offense. The response to a federal mandate on businesses? There's a federal mandate. Pick your number. We're going to give these, this business a $100,000 fine if they, don't, if they don't guarantee, if they don't get a vaccine mandate on all their employees. The response to that by the Republican states cannot be no. The response to that is, okay, we're going to pass a law and we'll give a million dollar fine to any business who does pass vaccine mandates. That's offense. That's the new right. And that's how we must play now. And I need to clarify something before we continue and go on with this special and everything tonight. I'm a small government guy. I can't stand government. I want it just to be itty bitty teeny tiny. So when I say doing things that make you uncomfortable, this is all stuff that makes me uncomfortable. I don't want state legislatures passing mandates on businesses. That sounds awful. That sounds terrible. But I didn't get to pick the time God gave me on this planet, and neither do you. In all forms of government, all strategies, they're not all equipped for all times. You and I must adjust. We must make adjustments based on the time we've been given. And we have been given a time where the system... The government, corporate, education, acad or, or, or Hollywood, even half the churches, they have all joined forces to destroy what you care about. We are not in normal times now. We are in abnormal times, so we must act abnormally. I mean, we're still celebrating Glenn Youngkin. Why did, why did Glenn Youngkin win in Virginia? I don't understand. It's a state. Remember, this is not a purple state. It's a blue state. They went for Joe Biden by 10 points. That's not even close. 10 points. And yet, they just went for Glenn Youngkin. Why? Why? Because parents went out and started savaging school boards. Parents went out and let their voices be heard. Parents started phone banking for Glenn Youngkin. No more sitting at home. No more li living and letting live. No, 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 no. Offense. Let's get out and play offense now. Look. They're trying to make you out to be domestic terrorists. This is America. Mm -hmm. That's how they responded when they were called domestic terrorists. They got up and sung the national anthem. More people showed up the next time. And remember, that's how you must act. Whatever the communist hates, you feed him more of it. When he whines, you don't back off, not ever. You go after them. And let's talk about this, domestic terrorists. Let's be real frank right now. The Federal Bureau of Investigation, in fact, the federal government itself, is working very, very, very hard to make sure you are labeled a domestic terrorist. They are. And so back to this do right thing. I don't know who's coming up that's going to solve this. Maybe it's Ron DeSantis, I don't know. But any Republican running for office had better promise to clear the rot out of the FBI before it turns into the Stasi. We had better. We had better. And look, here's how they've operated for years. They've operated knowing that you, a person on the right, undoubtedly have Judeo-Christian values. No, that's not me calling you a Christian or a Jew. I don't know your religious beliefs, and it's not my business. I'm not your pastor. But it's, it's part of the right's base. It's part of what you believe. And so because that's part of your value system, you believe in love, right? You believe in equality, undoubtedly. They've used that on you forever because the communist specializes in using your values against you. They, do, they love doing it because it works. That's why the St. George Floyd riots caught on so fast. Nobody wanted to, I, 
I want to be, I want to be a good white person. I, I love black people. Look at my black friends. I, I'm not a bad one. That's why they always pull out the, as a person of color, or as a woman, or as a this, as they pull that out because they know it attacks your value system and it shuts you up. The new right cannot allow that. You must ignore that. In fact, you must ignore everything they say. I know this makes people uncomfortable. I know. But if you treat them and their opinions as if it's coming from a slug crawling across your sidewalk, whatever they say to you, if you treat their opinions as if it's nothing, you take all of their power away. They've thrived. They've not only survived, they've thrived using your values against you. When you hear them say things like this, ignore it. Glenn Youngkin played the race card for a reason, because he knows it works on certain white voters. He did stoke white grievance politics to mobilize the Republican base. He's laundered Trump's really sort of disgusting, flagrant out yep. racism. He's wrapped it in education. Yep. Education, right. which is code for white parents don't like the idea of teaching right. about race. That's the fundamental problem for these parents and this anti-CRT movement. They don't like the way whiteness is being portrayed in these new, more inclusive yeah. lessons. This wasn't about those pocketbook issues. This was about how white kids feel talking about what black kids go through. The subtext of all this was we can't let these black and brown people run the country. It's all they have. It's all they have, and it's all they've had to have. They knew forever. If they just call you a racist, it will shut you up and slow you down. And even if you don't, even if you don't buy into it, you'll you'll waste time defending yourself. You attack them on an issue that you're a racist immediately. You allow them to put you on the defensive. I, I am not. A, I, my girlfriend's black. I, I don't allow them to distract you. Don't allow them to choose the battlefield. Offense at all times. That must be the new right. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.